recently I did my very first workshop. Yes, it's a um, it's a private basic brewing workshop that I did to um, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. And it made me realize that my very first video here on YouTube is the basic five pour technique, which is not basic at all. <laughs> Actually, before I did the workshop for Jamie, I've been doing this two-pour method for um, experiments, like for when I'm comparing one conical dripper to another or from one flat bottom dripper to another. I always did this two-pour technique, which is um, the blooming phase and then the completion of the water. So for today's video, I want to show you the easiest way to make a great tasting cup of coffee, the two-pour method. Right, so first we're gonna get our coffee. We're gonna use the Helen Martes from Curve Coffee Collaborators. Curve Coffee Collaborators is one of the biggest coffee companies here in the Philippines. The Helen Martes Red Honey is a Philippine specialty coffee. It's an Arabica bean from Itogon Benguet. This video is perfect for pour over beginners which are trying to improve their skills in pouring and of course while while doing the practice um, you want to enjoy your coffee right so this recipe is perfect for you so we're gonna do 13 grams of coffee and then we're gonna do 21 clicks on the commandante this recipe is not limited to those who own a Comandante. Of course, not everyone, not everyone can get a Comandante immediately, especially when they're starting out. If you have a Time More Chestnut C2, um, Time More Chestnut C3, um, King Grinder K6, um, Easy Presso Q Air or Easy Presso Q2. I have a conversion chart for all of those grinders that I just mentioned based on the settings of the Comandante so that it will be easier for you to follow different recipes based on Comandante settings. All right? Okay, now we're gonna prepare the um, server and the dripper. So for the beginners, if you are wondering why some would wet their paper filters and some don't, um, the simplest answer would be it will help you stick the paper to the walls of your V60. You do this to avoid bypass, right? When we say bypass, those are the water that did not pass through your coffee. Why is it bad? Why, why is bypass bad? So if the water bypasses your coffee bed, um, that is pure liquid water going through your end cup. And of course, your coffee will taste diluted, right? So you simply want to avoid um, water bypassing your coffee grounds. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put the coffee on the dripper. Okay, so for the preparation of your um, coffee bed, you simply want to level the coffee grounds. Yan. Okay, now we're gonna start. Our first pour would be 30 ml. And then for the second pour, we're gonna do all the way to 200 ml. But we're gonna do the second pour after 45 seconds. The blooming phase is the most important part of this recipe. So you want to make sure that all the coffee is wet. I'm gonna press the timer. The water that we are pouring is 92 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that is 30 ml and then we're gonna shake the bed to make sure that all the coffee grounds is wet. And then now we're gonna wait. Ok, 
Okay, at 40 seconds, get ready. Because at 45, we're gonna pour all the way to 200 ml. You can do this. Um, you can actually pour slowly, or you can you're, you can pour fast. Um, it will depend on your preference. If you want your coffee a little bit stronger, you can pour fast. But if you want your coffee not too strong or not too bitter, or or you want it like mild and um, a bit bright then you should pour slowly okay but it doesn't really matter while you're when you're still trying to learn right okay so we are at 200 and at this point we're gonna shake the v60 again but not too aggressively Okay, and then we are simply going to wait for the water to go down completely. Okay, at 2 minutes and 10 seconds, you should be done. Alright, so here is your coffee. Okay, you should practice this at home. Um, and then try not to I, I want to say this to to beginners if you are starting to if you are starting out your pour over journey remember not to stress out about all the variables okay try to try to try to keep it as simple as possible all right because Sometimes when you worry too much about all the variables like the water temperature or the pouring technique or the number of pours, sometimes it gets the better of you, right? Remember, keep it simple. Oh, diba? So this coffee is very, very good. It's very clean. Um, it's very balanced. I can enjoy this coffee every day, like the two pours. Sometimes I do this two pour technique when I'm lazy <laughs> or when I'm in a hurry. Reminder for the beginners out there, don't stress out on all the variables, all right? You can use this recipe as a baseline or something that you can um, practice with. It's very easy. Um, remember our dose is 13 grams. And our water is 200 ml and then we're just gonna do two pours first pour is 30 ml bloom and then second pour is um, pour all the way to 200 the water is 92 degrees Celsius yeah it's good it's really good it's very clean it's very balanced it's a, it's a very balanced cup of coffee right so for now Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye! I'm actually doing a private basic brewing workshop. Um, you can message me through my Instagram. It's at Daryl R. Bueno. And then we can do and we can make some arrangements. Um, I will go to your place, will be private, and it will be a one-on-one -on -one session between the two of us so that I can make sure that at the end of the day, you know how to brew a very good cup of coffee.